Hey beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to tell you about the Momentum Chrome extension. If you've not watched my previous tutorial on the use of one tab, you can find the link in the description below. And if you've not already subscribed to my channel, please do so. So in today's tutorial, I'll tell you about Momentum which is an amazing Chrome extension that makes my life so easy. Instead of me talking so much about it, let's go straight to the point as I show you how it is installed and used. Installing it is not that different from any other Chrome extension. To do so, just search for Chrome Store. At the Chrome Store, look for Momentum. This is Momentum. So click on Add to Chrome. You will get this dialog box. Click on Add Extension. When it's installed, you will see the, this icon with an M written on it on your ribbon your Chrome ribbon. So when you click on it, this page appears. Now it's asking for my name. So I'm just going to enter my name and I press enter. The next is your email address. You can provide your email address if you want, but if you don't, then you can cl click on stay locked out. This is Momentum. It has this beautiful picture in the background, which gives you a very calm uh, mood and it tells you the time. You can change the, the nature of the time by clicking on these three dots. So every time you start a new tab, this is what you'll see. Let me show you. Voila, you see. So on each page, on each new tab, you see the focus for the day. So you can enter any focus, for example, finish up thesis, press enter, and it's going to remind you of your focus for today. You can delete it and enter a new one. Stay calm. Down here, you see that there's a quote, and that quote changes every day. So this is today's quote. And this tells you where this picture is coming from. You can change, you can check the weather at the top right corner by clicking on this and you can change lo the location. You can change it to an hourly forecast, but it seems to be only available to the pro users. You can change the units to Fahrenheit instead of degrees Celsius and you can edit your location. In the bottom right corner, you have the to-do list, my favorite aspect of Momentum. When you click on the to-do list, you can add a new to-do list. So if I say blah, 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 these are my to-do list for today. I can cancel them. I can check them out to complete them and they will be moved to my done list. When I come to my done list, I can check what I've done for the day. And if I have not, then they get removed and they go back to my to-do list for the day. In the top left corner is the links button. When you click on it, you can go to, you can change your current homepage to your Chrome homepage, or you can go back to your Momentum homepage. So if you're tired of Momentum, you can always switch to your Chrome homepage by clicking on the links button and clicking on Chrome tab. You can also visit your apps and you can add a lot more apps here by going to the web store and downloading the rest of the apps you want to add. That's what makes Momentum such a, a nice app to use. So if I return to home page, this is what we have. In this same links tab, when you 
point your arrow here you can actually do a google search or any other search or use any other search engine of your choice so when you click on the drop down arrow you have google or bing or DuckDuckGo. most people use google so i could search for something for example ghana and it will lead me to the chrome search and that's momentum for you it has the time some people might think it's not really that necessary it greets you not many people get to greet you you know it reminds you of your focus for the day it has the to-do list for the day in the bottom right corner and it gives you a quote a goal should scare you a little and excite you a lot it's an amazing quote you can check it out on twitter and then there's a picture in the background which normally is a calm picture to keep you calm it tells you the weather you can search um, using the links button you can visit the chrome apps and other things you can add links to the links um, button here and it will it will provide a link to whatever you want to visit and it's a, and it's, it's a really incredible um, extension and I like it because of its simplicity I use it from time to time when I want to switch between the chrome home page and the momentum home page so if you enjoyed this tutorial and you want me to do a tutorial on another extension that you are interested in you can always provide it in the comment section if you're also thinking of a task but are not sure of an extension that could do that you could let me know in the comment section and as always don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching and see you next time bye